Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a sunburst, which is like a sun's rays coming out all over the place from a single point. And we've got a natural point here, so we'll do it from there. So we're just going to start off, go to a pixel layer, and on here we're going to put the noise. Um, we're using noise, and we're going to use Perlin noise, because that gives us more flexibility. And then we're going to do a zoom blur, which kind of blows it outwards. Zoom blur is not available over here in the dynamic uh, filters there, so you have to go to the destructive ones up here. So we're going to start off then with noise and Perlin noise. And here you can play around with these to get what you want. Zoom is, is a particularly useful one because that gives you the size because the blobby white and dark things here are going to become the sun rays. So you want the thickness of the sun rays to be set by that. And the persistence makes that nice clean sun rays or sort of like little lines in the sun rays, which is kind of useful. So we'll leave it there, but do experiment. So now we want to do the zoom blur on that. So it's not in a non-destructive, so you go to Filters, Blur and Zoom Blur, here it is. And there you can see where it is, and we can click around the place to place the center. We'll do it from the top, and we, but we can't see it, so we'll just turn down the opacity of that, so now we can see where we are. And just click at the top there, and there you got, you can see immediately what it's doing. So we'll apply that. In doing this, by the way, is you'll, you'll notice with it, there's a fair amount of grey, it's making the thing grey, and when you see grey you think, ah, contrast blend modes, grey is invisible in that. So all we need to do here is if you go to normal, down to something like overlay, you know, it's, it's appearing here, but it's getting a bit faint here. So we can bring this back, because if I turn off the bottom layer here, and look at the histogram, you can see where it is. There's loads of space here, so again that says levels. So I go to the levels here. Now I can bring in the edge here, and if you bring it all the way in, it actually gets somewhat radical. We don't need it that exciting, so we can leave it out here a bit, but it basically it, it, it cheeses it up a bit. Let's put the last bottom layer on. Does that look okay? Yeah, that's okay. So let's turn that off, but I can go always go back and change it. What we need to do here as well is stop the things shooting off the bottom because it looks like an overlay. The sun rays should kind of lie on the land. So I'll click on there, put on a mask. So on that mask layer then I want to paint black. So I've got the paintbrush, colour on there, black, and yeah, around about 30 odd percent because it's just going to knock this off gently so that it ends up sort of like hitting the land there. So there we go, there are sun rays. Probably a good idea to put a sun in on this. So what we're going to do here is turn this one off here, go to the background layer there, and get a selection brush, because I'm going to select this here. In fact, I only need to part of this. And then I'm going to invert that selection, and we'll see why in a moment. So where is it? Select and invert pixel selection. And now I can put this back on again and I'm going to put on another pixel layer because I'm going to get myself a brush, paintbrush, make it white and up here and I can make this full up because it's a new layer which you can always adjust. Put a nice big blob there, maybe even a What's that like for a sun? Yeah, that'll be right for the sun. You can make it bigger or smaller if you like. So now I've done that, I can get rid of the Control D marching ants, but now I need a little bit more in here. So what I'm going to do now is reduce the opacity down here, so about 30 odd. And then I can, as I put another few blobs on here, you can see it's sort of like, it's kind of like getting to that. I can mask, put a bit of you know, masking in there as well, but it looks like it's kind of like should be like there. You make it a bit smaller and put a little one at the top. There we go. Anyway, there's our picture. Uh, it's our sunburst from the top with Perlin noise. Played around to get the different shapes here, but quick and pretty easy and nicely effective. You can also add colour and all sorts of things like that as well if you want. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.